and welcome to week 25 of Roleplay Solemn. It's been a while since we've last played, so let's find out what everyone has been up to. Neil, how are you still alive? I'm invincible. I cannot die. That's not true. <laughs> well, have... Prove me wrong. No. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, I'm doing well. How's the recovery been? Easy peasy. I just slept pretty much all day Wednesday and rested a bunch Thursday. And then I took my normal Friday, Saturday off to get shit done around the house, pick up on, pick, uh, catch up on things that I missed the last week and a half of. Um, and then spent last night in the ER, which was great. Why? Doing in the ER? Because you of just the drop some shit like that. hours. Right. It totally because Drama. of the 120 hours. No, I, like a couple months ago, I had this weird pain in my side and I like had to go to the ER overnight to because I just couldn't sleep because of this throbbing pain. And they're like, well, we can't find anything wrong with you, but, you know, here's some painkillers. Hopefully you just, like, bruise something by coughing too hard, which I thought you I would have noticed, but whatever. or something? No, no. And so they took me back again and uh, kind of re-ran all the same tests, ran a few more. I'm like, well, nothing seems to be wrong with you, and the pain's gone now that we gave you this really strong painkiller. It's the worst um, when they can't find it, though. Yeah. Well... You know, go talk to your primary care physician about this, and if they'll probably run the same things, and good luck. But you seem to be okay now, so we're just going to let oh, you go. God. So well, after spending all night... Medicine. Yeah, I mean, they gave me pain meds then, but nothing to take home, which, well, what frankly, I'd come back. Or are you okay? I mean, I, I'm fine now, but it's just, you know, mm. pulsating pain in my side every now and then that it's just like, oh. It's probably an ulcer. It's probably an ulcer. I don't think they would have checked for that. Yeah. yeah, just go to your, your side. Uh, definitely wasn't in the CAT scans stomach. or the X rays or anything. Hmm? Aren't those in your stomach? Yeah, those are in your stomach. This is definitely like I it I'm not too concerned about it. It's just been this is the second time it's happened now. And of course it's completely unrelated to the stream, guys, because this is completely unrelated to the marathon. Sure, Neil. Sure. <laughs> Whatever you it's, say, Neil. It coincidentally hap coincidentally <laughs> happens months and months ago, and then They're returns like, well, now we, because we've of done this. all the tests. But I mean, this is kind of a weird question. You didn't happen to stream for 120 hours <laughs> at any point in time, did you? You're like, you're like, what no, do you I, mean, doctor? I, I told them all about it. I was like, yeah, I intentionally didn't the sleep for 120 hours Gregory a few days House, ago. And that's how he knew. And, uh, the doctor's literally like, oh, you didn't sleep for 120 hours? Okay, that's fine. Next thing, like, didn't they didn't even care? It's streamositis. Yeah. It's so, gotta go to a what is it? A gastro. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck. Gastrointestinologist. Yeah, you got to go to that. Yeah, Gastro maybe. Something. Anyway, yeah, drink a barium we'll shake. Stream which doctor? Th that that was my night which last night, which doctor? is why I may feel <laughs> seem a little unprepared for role plays because I ended up sleeping until five minutes before my last show went live, so okay. I, I didn't get a chance to do all the details that I was planning I wanted for this week. Just as a heads up. You know, on the same note, guys, I'm not sure I'm ready for this either. I did sleep three days ago, and and then. Um, <laughs> No, that, no, that's not an excuse. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag wreck. Got there you him. Go. <laughs> Yield it. <clears throat> Yield it. Anything else going on in your world, Neil? Besides um, uh, spending a night at the ER in 120 hours. You know, it's pretty an eventful thing. You know, I stayed up for 120 hours, went to the ER last night. It was my birthday as well. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say. Happy yeah. it's it's actual actual birthday. No one actually wished you your, your birthday on your actual yeah. birthday. On the actual birthday, I kind of just got forgotten, which is great. It's perfect. That is funny. They're like Your stream chat's really obnoxious about that joke when it's not your birthday, but then when it actually is your birthday, they're like, oh, whatever. I mean, whatever. If, if they say happy birthday or not, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all I mean, good. I get the happy birthdays here. <laughs> you know, I don't need them on the specific day. That's right. <laughs> and you yeah. turn, how old were you? I am now 28 years of age. 28. Bullshit. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah. 64. Who's the oldest on the show? We never did that, did we? It's Ryan. That's me. How old are you? I am actually, in two weeks, I'm going to be 30. Hey, that's really? not a bad birthday. Yeah, I'm and actually... We're young. You know what? I'm really happy to to be turning 30. I'm not, like, paranoid or upset about it or anything it's time to go ham now yeah dude 30. I'm, ha I'm i'm excited about it those are the years where you actually have to start caring about your health <laughs> yeah. it's Every true everything else you're just like you know what i'm fucking young we're good my metabolism will kick in 30 man your metabolism it actually will just leave you you'll have like a slight pain in the middle of the night and then it'll be gone 
You won't no, know what it's, happened. It, you're gonna, I'm going to feel a sense of loss and loneliness. And I'm like, what left me? And it was yeah. my metabolism. That's what it you're was. just going to go sit at a park bench, kind of just longingly look into the sky, and, and that's when it will go. Fast food restaurants will start turning you away. It's like, no, no, sir, you can't. You can't eat our food. Too you old. can't hey, even digest this. We don't want that yeah. liability. We don't want I'm that gonna, I'm going to switch my... Um, my pizza emote on my channel to a, a kale leaf or something. <laughs> In the shape we're, of gonna, pizza. we're gonna have to, yeah. There you go. <laughs> kale leaf. It's gonna be. It's like a, a rice cracker, something exactly. like that. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Jeff, what have you been up to the past two weeks? I guess we talked to you on Swan Songs so the past week. Just got back from Vegas. Uh, I was there from Thursday until noon, hanging out with. Uh, all the cool folks. Marcus was there. Uh, Margaret from Roleplay as well. Uh, Vegas fucking sucks. I hate Vegas. Uh, what was bad about it this time? You must have lost well, money, bro, because Vegas rules. No. <laughs> Vegas is not. Uh, if you've been to Vegas, go like three or four times and then just don't ever fucking go again because it's, it's, it's just it's the same an thing. incessant stream, a sludge of humanity True. drunkenly like shuffling by you and belching and farting and rubbing their old peopleness on you and just there's general smoke cloying around and uh yes i did lose uh six hundred dollars at the poker table which <laughs> there it is there also it is. sucks quite a bit i'm sure if i would have like won six hundred dollars i'd be like ah, it's okay but but uh you know i was out there for sonia online experience their soe live thing which is cool uh they're good people it's Maggie's company. People didn't know that's her real time job, real t- real life job, real time. Yeah, it, she, it's not her turn based job. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so anyway, that was cool. Uh, there is good food in Vegas. That that was pretty awesome. And what'd you eat? Got, well, I gotta know. Um, I mean, nothing super amazingly fancy, but just you know, we went to we went to Craft Steak and MGM Grand, which is this. Ooh, that's a good place. That's actually, Tom Colicchio's restaurant. Yes, and actually, as I say that, we tried to go there, but it was closed. Oh. Uh, yeah, terrible story. Uh, we went to a few places. I, I can't even. Just good stuff. Stuff like that, though. You know, like restaurants that apparently you know very well. Um, happy to be back. I've uh, been binging on XCOM. I am on the final mission. Uh-oh. So uh, the highest of my binge, the, the Neil-esque level of binging, was a 14-hour day. I played 14 hours straight. Nice. Streamed the whole thing. Um, but I've researched everything it's we're about to beat it and then after that i w- am happy to ex- explore the world of battle royale with you guys and try out some daisy and stuff like that and then of course return to starcraft 2 nice um and then this uh in two weeks i'll be going to a warhammer tournament in washington dc which i'm really excited about and that is about it for me are you going oh, to pax what's that are you going to pax no no pax oh wow no PAX. it'll be my first pax without jeff there uh, we will you know what we'll do at one point, we'll have to sync up on Twitter and we'll put our hands in the sky and high five from across. Because you'll be in Seattle, you'll be in Washington, D.C. It's almost as far as you can get. Yeah, <laughs> it actually is. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, one last thing. Quick story about my mom. This is relevant to my life, I guess. She, uh, <laughs> My mom's the, so. the coolest, most amazing person in the entire world. And she's her life story is basically just that everything kind of kicks her down. And then she just kind of chuckles and gets up and walks away anyways. She was checking out um, marble because she's an interior decorator with some clients. And it was her and these like two old ladies and the guy that works at the marble place. Uh, and they were looking at this, you know, slabs of hundreds of pounds of marble. And one of the guys was like, oh, here, I'll hold this one and I'll look at this, whatever. He drops 600 pounds of marble. Holy it lands crap. on my mom's foot. And it almost did what's called a de-glove, which... Uh, Oh, I nice. later learned that there's a term for that. Don't Google that, guys. Doesn't do not, sound sexy. Do not well, Google degloving. Sexy is not a. Yeah, it's it was bad. Anyways, long story short, she ends up being okay, but there was a pool of blood around her. It was shooting out of her leg because it clipped a, a main vein or whatever. <laughs> Ryan's um, not into this. <laughs> she's this like is not working out for me. Like, man. reaching out to the guy, like help, put pressure on the wound, and he actually like passed out and walked away and or he, like walked away then passed out um so she's been in the hospital she's doing okay now uh Christ. yeah that's that's kind I of i really want to google but i won't don't fucking do it scary thing that i'm dealing with right now and she actually like i said she's a fucking trooper but uh this is really really bad and she's been de- uh she's had her leg elevated for a few days 
Yeah. And now she has a pain behind her knee, which is how I got my blood clot. So yeah, that's you not got, good. Send your positive thoughts out there towards my mom, or if you're a uh, a wizard or a spiritual person, send magic or wishes of religious purposes or whatever. Because I need my go. mom. So thank you. There you go. Wow, that is intense. Uh, yeah. That happens in like one day with her too. That's just what that's just what does. Yeah, it's like, a pretty hey, terrible day. <laughs> don't freak out, but you know I'm in the hospital right now. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I like how parents always do that. It's always like, know. you know, don't freak out, but and then it's like the worst possible news ever. <laughs> and they do it at the worst timing too. Always do that, yeah. Yeah. So, well, hopefully everything gets better for your mom in the yeah, future. Thank you. I'll let you guys know. I'll update you. Ryan, what's going on with you? Uh, what's up? <laughs> I. I've been playing a bunch of Arma 3. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually won my first Battle Royale a couple days ago, which I was very pumped about. And um, so then after I won that, I kind of like started my foray into um, Altus Life. Did you play any today? No, no. I didn't. Seven. But yesterday, I became one of the top Apple salesmen in the region. <laughs> Altus Life is basically role-playing Arma, Jeff. Yes. Huh. It's like a hundred people oh, on a server, okay. and and uh, you kind of like do what it, like you could be a cop, you could be a medic, you could be a civilian that like grows marijuana and mm -hmm. meth lab. By the way, Ryan, have you checked rich. out H one Z one? What they're talking about when it comes uh, out? Yes, I am going to get H one Z one when it comes out. They're going to have servers that can hold thousands of people. Yeah. I think that's awesome, man. I thousands. Based. Yes, they're going to have armies. They're going to have. Like assembly lines of <laughs> slaves know. making things all the time. <laughs> Should be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm excited about H1Z1. I don't have any like sneak peek access like some people, but uh, that wasn't like a, a towards anybody in particular. I've just seen a bunch of people streaming it recently. Um, so yeah, been doing the Altus, and I did shave my beard recently as well. A lot of been a lot of people been calling me my son and. Baby face and things along that. So yeah, but you know, like sometimes the beard gets so long and like it gets like you're oh you're, yeah you're eating and the food oh, yeah. and I've stuff. I've been at that stage for like, a while. So I at some point I'm just like you know what I'm just gonna shave it off and it'll come back. It's all good. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Ryan and Jeff, I don't know if you saw the video, but I challenged you guys today. Uh, I, I did. To talk about I that. did see that. Are we gonna? I can did. we expect a video in the future? Yeah, and the next. I mean, you kind of have to. I yeah. was gonna, I was gonna do it. Like, thank you, by the way, I feel loved. But uh, indeed, that shit is every fucking where. <laughs> oh, it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Adam and challenged me, like... and I just was kind of like, God damn it! Like, I don't want to post yeah. this because people are gonna, like, people are like, you're, you're supporting charity. Fuck you, man. <laughs> like, that's what about what this a other lot one that's way on. more better? And it's like, okay, anyways, but yeah, it's a. Uh, I think it's really dumb. But it's for an extremely good cause, so then I don't think it's dumb. I'm very yeah, that's conflicted. How, that's where I was, too. Very was. conflicted. So, yeah, I accept. I'll, I'll do it. I, I don't know what form or anything. Anne will probably have I to I was going to do something, like, I, don't, I was going to do something different and, like, go crazy with it. But then I was just like, I'll just fucking, we'll make it short and sweet. Just get Anna to record it. Say something yep. dumb. There you go. Like Trisha Helfer did it on Twitter, if anyone's interested. And she's in her bra, and her boobs are everywhere. So... <laughs> <laughs> Trisha Helfer, man. That's the girl from. She's my uh, arch nemesis. What is that? Number nine? Is that? Six. Six. She's six. Number six. six. She has the voice for Kerrigan. She's the. I think it is, yep, in Jeff's head, after Anna, the sexiest woman on the entire planet. Uh, but it's my life goal to beat her in Twitter. So someday <laughs> she'll go down. Are you, You're getting close now. Didn't you break 100K recently? Oh, Was I, I imagining? Wish. You're imagining. I'm at 73. Someone broke 100K earlier. I don't know who that was. Anyway, sorry. I think you're thinking of me who broke my 10K. Maybe so. And you so. were like, wow. Maybe so. <laughs> Ryan, can, that... we expect, can we expect the video? Just Jeff's already said Which is what I like. You were, you were calling it your K. It got the K, man. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say, JP? Can we expect a video, Ryan? You can expect something from me. I don't know what it's going to be yet because <laughs> I only just saw it. But Okay. You know. It I'm sucks, not... by the way. It's really bad. I couldn't remember what I was going to say for about 10 seconds. And then I got through it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know Tough who I was going to challenge. I like had all it in my head, doused myself in ice cold water, and then I just kind of like I have no idea what I'm saying right now because I can't breathe because it's so cold. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, you got to do it. I expect your your video, Ryan. Yeah, you'll get something from me. Okay, all right. 
Anything else, by the way, Ryan, that you've been up to the past week? We good? Me? This yeah. was Jeff's turn, I think. No, it's your. No, wait. It sounds like mine because I talked a whole bunch. I of thought it. I was done. No, I was already done. Wait, okay. oh. was this Jen's turn that we were talking on? No, no, I was just asking if there was anything else, man. Because we like. We, oh we no, cut no, into that's right. You asked me about the ice bucket. Yeah. Oh, I saw. Um, who's the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy? What's his name? Guardians Chris Pratt. Yeah. Chris Pratt. Yeah. He's really. I hot saw right his now. his challenge. <laughs> yeah. That uh, was pretty today. good. It's pretty entertaining. I enjoyed it. I liked it. Did you see Bill Gates? Yeah. No. I did Super not. awkward. Oh, man, he's such really? an awkward human being. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his acting, he's like, I'll have to design it. And then it's like him with a paper. And he's like, yeah, this will be great. This will work nice. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Bill Gates, you're so boring. But he's also the best human on the planet. He, he donates like is, billions yeah. of dollars. Yeah. If I was Bill Gates, I would just like hire a guy that looks kind of like me, pay for like millions of dollars in plastic surgery, and then have him get the bucket of ice. <laughs> that's why you're not Bill Gates. That's why you're not Bill Gates. Because he has so much right. money. It's just like, you know. He does. Whatever. Well, he probably has so much money because he doesn't spend any on <laughs> He'd make more like money in the, in the time it took to film that than he would spending it on it. So Doesn't yeah. he... I doesn't he make like 70k a second or something like that? I something don't know like what that. it is, but it's a lot. It was something uh, yeah, fucking my, just my, uh, absurd. Just My absurd. grandfather had this funny thing that he I, he he the way his brain worked is he talked about how if Bill Gates ever dropped a million dollars and the amount of time it would take him to bend over and pick it up, it was not worth it. It was some it, was some, it wasn't oh, maybe yeah. it wasn't a million, yeah. but it was like 100,000 or something. It was He'd ridiculous. make it back, yeah. Yeah. It's actually true. It's kind of crazy. But he's also a nice guy and just donates it to everything. So good for him. Yeah, he's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Jen, last but not least, what's going on with you? Past two weeks. Oh, I've been, been a playing a lot of Dota 2. I have seen the Origins of the Galaxy. Yes. Uh, I think I Ryan's the other the... one that hasn't. I have not seen it. God damn it, Ryan. Ryan. I played the PT <laughs> Silent Hills thing. And it scared the shit out of me. Yeah, Holy that game's, fucking shit, that's so good. Game is I not haven't good. finished it yet because I was too terrified. <laughs> that's good to I hear. I should have streamed it, I know, but I didn't because I was game. so scared. I was, I, that was insane. You guys should try it. It's really good. Ryan should try it. I'd love to see it. Someone please stream it. Not me, someone else. <laughs> I I actually don't enjoy playing or streaming. I scary. hate I tried to get I him to watch scary. an Outlast stream last night. He's like, nope. Not gonna do it. No, it wasn't watch one. We we were Not finding random it. streamers to host that only had like one view. And he was like, let's do an Outlast stream. And I was like, no. Because I don't like scary games. But. <laughs> and I died in the game too. And it was terrifying. Rip. That game's terrifying. Also, Rip. what else? My parents learned how to text. Oh, that's oh, cool. no. At the same time, they got an iPhone. Like now they don't have a flip. I a flip phone anymore. Now they have actual letters, and now they text me like it's an email. Hello, and then they always change the nickname. It's like, like I don't know, the equivalent of like female kitten and like fucking little angel and the like. What else is there? You know <laughs> what you should heart. do. He Hello, little heart. And then I have like a wall of text, and then it sounds like X. Space, space, X, mom. <laughs> it's not good, man. I'm so sorry, Jen. Just block you him. should just block them. You know how you can do <laughs> shortcuts? Like if you type in "you are," you can it'll automatically change to "your." You should go into your parents' phones and change shortcuts to words that they normally say like, into something embarrassing. And like the, it's always like long words with all the accents and everything. Like the spacing is there. I don't understand how much time they spend on every single text message. And now instead of calling me, they try to text me for like anything. Well, that's They're that's like, great. That's fantastic. But it's like it's so weird. They're like, no, you don't have to ever talk to your parents again on a phone. That's like the she, best news ever. <laughs> she actually wrote at some point. We're gonna be there in five minutes. But it took her so long to write it. Then she just wrote, actually, we, we just got there. <laughs> Love, mom. <laughs> That's the best like It took ever. her so long to type it. <laughs> she was already there. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> I have a story uh, that's and... vaguely similar. No, go ahead. I'll tell it at the end. No, no go ahead. Real quick, guy. Uh, one of my friends on Facebook had a status that said he was at lunch at a restaurant and he saw a guy and his girlfriend took uh, their dad or his, her dad out to dinner. And he was sitting close enough to hear the conversation, and she said, Daddy, can you pass me the ketchup? And both the boyfriend and the father reached for the ketchup. Boom. Oh. 
That's pretty awkward. That's it. That's you were awkward. talking about nicknames from parents, and that is fucking amazing. So there you go. Poor, poor that person. <laughs> to be, to just like look at the dad in the eye after that. It's probably well, looking it was, at it was like the beginning hell. of their meal. Yeah, it was yeah. the beginning of the fucking meal. <laughs> you saw hell, brimstone, and fire in the eye of the father, for sure. That guy's probably not gonna have a good dinner after that. Just don't even know where you go from there. Like, what? What does you the dad just, say? You, you fold up your napkin, put it on the table, and be like, "I'll see you next time." <laughs> 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 you just leave. You just walk out. <laughs> Jen, sorry for interrupting. Anything uh, else? Oh yeah, last thing. Last thing. Uh, it's official. I'm going to ESL One New York and BlizzCon. Pew, pew, there you go. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, that's it. I'm I didn't excited. Even know there was ESL One in New York? What is that? They just announced it. Is it ESL or ESL One? It's ESL, ESL One. It's one. at uh, Mad- or Madison Square Garden. The yeah. Theater. Oh, that one. It's yeah. Be okay. Sick. Every time they call it One, is that to say CS:GO or Dota? Is that what they're saying? I think. So. I think it's Dota. It is Dota in, in New York. I don't know why they call it ESL One though. I think it's like their premier tournament or something. Because that's what they did at that big stadium in yeah. uh, Germany. They also just yeah. did CS:GO, which was ESL One. Yeah. Maybe it's just when they have one game. I mean, when uh, when Maybe. has when has ESL ever like not made something really complex like their website <laughs> where they have like thirty different names for things and you're just like, what does this mean? They don't even know. They just like naming new things with ESL in it. So I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, cool. that's it. Well, uh, it's been like two weeks, so we'll do a short recap. Neil, I'll yeah. let you do that. So last we and left off, smile. the party wa- had just killed Lady Felicity. And looted more loot than they should ever have, rightfully. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I was just kind of running around in circles being salty. That's true. Oh, and a big fuck you to JP still. That's true. Uh, I think we had, we had divvied up the stuff and we had uh, stapled her body to the gate of that city on the way out. And Jen went back and wrote uh, in the sand or something. There is hope. Hope. There is hope. Yeah. Yes. Which okay, is weird. That was in... She wrote that on a dead body, but <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, that was in Bolton, town of Bolton. I think so. No, it was actually just so. outside the Longborn Kingdom. Where were we? It was uh... I don't remember. Bolton, B O L T O N. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I don't remember if Leah had given me the potion of hand regeneration or if it's still <laughs> in her backpack. But if we can solve that at the beginning of today, that'd be good. Uh, I think no one has it written down, so it just disappears. Sorry. Oh, guys. you know what? It's on my character sheet that Leah has. Well, it. we know that's a lie, but we can just <laughs> pretend it's on your character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like week twenty-five. Ryan, for the first time, makes a note in his character sheet: potion of hand regeneration. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you write. <laughs> uh, you know what? If it gets him to start writing things down, I'll do it. <laughs> he'll do it. Uh, I don't think anyone leveled up. I, oh. I think Jen leveled up at the end of last session. Yeah, yeah. and I got one more HP. <laughs> yeah, you rolled a yeah. one on your D4. Uh, I'm 8k from level. I think the fighters are like 10k or something like we that. We leveled fairly soon. No, we're... We're, we're at 82,000 overall. Yeah. Uh, 82, 42. Wait, you guys are level 8 then, right? Level 7. Oh, that's rogue. Sorry, that's rogue. Where the All fuck... Right. <laughs> Neil, did I get the non-weapon proficiency or like a weapon proficiency or level six? And also, um, like my melee or missile adjust or some shit. At level six, you get a weapon proficiency and a non-weapon proficiency. Ha! Oh, look at that. You yeah. An extra one? one. Yeah, as a wizard, yeah. Oh, I Wizards only have get- one. You oh, should well. have two weapon proficiencies at, at this point. I think you got one, and then we just didn't use it. Yeah. For okay, nothing. so I have two. Yeah, well, you get an additional weapon and an additional non-weapon. Oh. Huh. I'll just uh, put daggers in there. Okay. I already have dagger and quarter staff, so I'll need something else. Oh, then you, sh- no, then you don't get an additional one. Then we've already done it. Oh, you gave me dagger. Okay. But you said you... I had two. Then I have one more. Or is no, no, no. Two? You should have a at level six. Wizards have a total of two weapon proficiencies. Okay, so I have two, what? but I'm missing one non-weapon for sure. How do you know for sure? Because I she haven't had it once since the start. I remember. I'm a hundred percent sure of that. 
Okay. I never made the yep. like the choices or the looking up shit or anything. Okay, well, it's um chapter five, page seventy six. Um, yeah, so, I'll spend a lot of time on this. So <laughs> should Jen have a total of eight non weapon proficiencies then? Jen, what is your? What I have num- seven. I should have eight right now. What's the number of languages that you can speak? A um, lot on your character sheet next to Intel. Uh. You know, I have it open right now. Five. So it should be five plus four. So you should have started with nine, gained what? one up level, a total of nine different slots. That doesn't mean nine proficiencies. Mm-hmm. Some of them cost two. And then you would have gained one at level three and gained one at level six. So you should have nine, ten, eleven slots worth of non weapon proficiencies. Do you know but by some heart? Of them take two. Hmm? Do you remember by heart which ones take two? No, probably not. Uh, it's in the character. Or the have. Reading and writing takes one. Religion takes one. Spellcraft takes one. Heraldry takes one. Tracking takes two. I'm writing it down. One, one. Uh, disguise takes two. one. Horseback riding takes one. One, one. Tracking was almost how many? Seven, eight. Tracking, Tracking two. Yeah. Two. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine right now. Out of eleven. Out of eleven. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The and everything so else. I have two. Right. I have two extra, right? Sure. Okay. So I'll look up for something to okay. non weapon proficient size. Cool. Okay. Uh, the rest of the party, you are in Bolton, or you have just exited Bolton. I think you're headed west still, towards Port Taylor. Port Tyler. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Because we did the identifying stuff there, right? We didn't get everything identified, but we got a lot of things identified. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, you guys hung out in Bolton for a day. Okay. All, uh, we <laughs> identified everything but the necklace, a ring. We d- identified the ring of Inviz, Inviz uh, the pouch, which was on the belt, and the leather armor. Everything else was identified. And I don't think we divvied up the armor and stuff like that. I think we did not di- uh, find out what the armor does. We didn't, yeah. No, we don't know. That, oh, that was okay. the stuff we did not figure out. Yeah, yeah so we're it, waiting on magical that. magical leather armor. Yeah. And Jen as a wizard, I cannot wear it, right? You cannot cast spells while, cast it, while wearing armor. You can put the armor on, but it interferes yeah. with your spell casting. Okay. Um, I have the poison sword. Yes. I have the silver dagger of minus HP permanent. <laughs> and I have the ring of Except invisibility. Except it's not silver. It is black and made oh. out of bone. What's it written silver dagger? What's the silver I, dagger then? That's Maybe that's a, just something I had. Yeah, you had a silver dagger in general. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. We still haven't identified that stupid wand. So yeah, the wand. Yeah. I have the dagger. How would you call it? A black, black bone dagger. Black bone dagger. Okay. Yeah. Is okay. it one pound? Yes, it is. All right. Now I'm at 20. And then uh, are, are we staying in this town until we identify everything? Or um, I think we were actually getting out of there. I think we stayed one day to identify, and then we were leaving yeah, to the next yeah. town. Okay. So, yeah, we're traveling to Consell then. What was the name of the city again, Neil? Bolton. Bolton. B-O-L-T-O-N. Yeah, I see it. We were headed towards Port Noni, right? Port Taylor. Port, Tyler. Yeah. Port, oh. Port Tyler. All on Lake okay. Tasia. Gotcha. We'll probably start, stay at Consale to do another round of identification. Okay. Because we bought 700 gold pearls. Yeah. I have two on my character sheet right now. Because I can identify two. Wee. So yeah, we okay. travel to Consale. All right, you guys arrive in Consale the next day. There is no molestation on the road. The travel is quite safe. Um, In general, traveling around this area, you feel safer than most of the places you've traveled um, in the world. The whole Miklagrad area is, as we mentioned before, um, allied with Verasi so that they can self-govern and self-rule, which means that the king of Miklagrad keeps the, the area fairly safe and fairly free of monsters, whereas other parts of the world, uh, which you've already experienced, have, you know, wyverns and boule and all sorts of, you know, weemets and shit running around. But this area seems to be fairly safe from bandits and monsters along the road, generally speaking. 
I'm not saying it is heaven and I'm not saying it's perfectly safe, but you know, you, you feel much safer traveling the roads in these areas. Oh yeah. We have replacement Carla. Cause I don't remember. Her name. I, yeah. What's her name again? Uh, does anyone remember her name? It's like Helen or something. Helen is indeed correct. There you go. Yeah, you're good. I keep her uh, close to me. I trust her <laughs> and everything like that, but I'm a uh... Jen. Get your mind out of the gutter, okay? It's not always about sex every time. Um, <laughs> but it will. Be. I uh, yeah, probably. But no, it's just we just got her. It was kind of under, you know, we had to do some convincing. But I, I stay pretty close to her during the journey. And along the way, I strike up a conversation with Leah as well. And I say, oh, uh, Leah, a word with you, if you please. Mm-hmm. It dawns on me that the combination of that nasty dagger and the ability to turn invisible, as well as your uncanny uh, spy tactics, make you quite the assassin. Are you prepared for perhaps doing such a mission should the need arise? Well, I'm not a thief, so right. I don't get back attack bonuses to room. She doesn't say that. Uh, what but, does she say? <laughs> hmm. The thing is, I'm not a very strong person, and by strong I mean low HP. And I'm not too sure how much damage I can do long term. I feel it's, it's more of a hit and run almost type of deal. Oh, no, no, no. It's more of a sneak into a room where they're asleep and slit their throat is what I'm talking about. Oh, I can about. do that, yes. Yes, good. I'm yes. glad you're on board. Okay, I was just checking because I needed to know if you were willing to contribute in that way, but it sounds like yes, you are. that is something I can do. And I have great boots to go along it, so that's good. Very good. Okay, and otherwise I think, you know, I'm just... That actually along. sounds lovely, you know? If we have someone to assassinate, it's going to be easy. I can clairvoyance in the room, make sure they're asleep, sneak in. Well, it won't be as easy as turning them into a duck and snapping their neck, but it should be quite easy. Yes, I agree. So salty. I would say that we should even not even discuss it any further because it's so easy we wouldn't want somehow <laughs> the fate of the universe to, you know, change on us. Tariq, somehow. you speak as if there's this omniscient dickhead presence that makes things near impossible <laughs> to do, like get full plate mail. But clearly that's not the case. It's just a natural. I mean, look, you're wearing full plate mail. There's no reason there can't be another set out there for me. Listen, listen, Victorian. <laughs> F- full plate mail, one extra armor is nothing compared to a, a sword which instantly cripples you for life. <laughs> dagger. 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 You're right. Dagger. You're right. Apologies. But, Sweet yes, plate. I agree. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, we make it in there. You said there's no molestation that occurred. Correct. You are now in Consale. It is a medium-sized town that is filled with... Uh, what seem to be terrified people. As you approach, the gates are non-existent, but the guards out front kind of see you guys riding up and just get out of the way. They don't say anything or anything like that? No, they they see you guys riding and they kind of look at you from a distance while you, you know the gaps get closer and are smaller and smaller. And then at some point they seem to like be very um, emotive and expressive, but you, they're still too far away to really hear. And then they just kind of scurry away and disappear into the town. They hide when we ride up. They're not even yes. there. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, we go to the stables, I guess, as per usual, to turn Once in our horses. We're out of, did I see where they went to hide? Like, in which building? No. Like, I mean, they disappeared behind buildings. Mm-hmm. They didn't necessarily go into buildings. They, like, went into the alleyways. All right. Never mind. Well, do I know that they're there? Like, did I see them going into the alleyways? I guess so, right? Ten minutes ago, you saw them walk it behind some buildings. Nah. Where they are currently, All you right. cannot yeah. know. Cool. Oh, and I, I need to... I was at... Jensen Spells. 10 HP at the end of last session, because I got hit for 13. So, how many days have we been traveling? Three? Zero. Oh, okay. Okay. But yeah, you are still at the same HP. HP. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. We'll need to rest, friends. Let's tie up our horses and make our way to the inn as per usual. Okay. You tie your horses up uh, near the inn and make your way in. As you guys enter, uh, people look around and the s- singer in the corner stops you know, playing his instrument and stops singing. And the bartender kind of freezes and stares at you. And the other patrons kind of look around after a while and then s- 
over the course of I want to say like twenty seconds, the entire inn falls silent. Everyone looking at you guys. I, uh, as I notice the silence, I say, kind of quite loudly, still through my skull mask, I say, "Friends, word might have reached you that uh, Felicity has been slain. This is not a time of silence. This is a time of celebration. Drinks are on me for the next ten minutes." Give me a charisma check. Sweet. I always fail these. Uh, See how it goes? Because you are... You're trying to be like, we're all together, yay! But you have, like, the skull mask, and there's, like, blood staining your clothing from the previous... Like, you know, you you haven't bought new clothes, so all your clothes are tattered and blood-stained. You've got this nasty, imposing, scary mask on. 18. Um, (laughs) You say drinks are on us, and people just, like, get up and run and just flee from the inn. The innkeeper stays... uh, his serving girl stays. The singer in the corner stays. Everyone else scatters like cockroaches in the sunlight. I mosey over to the barkeep, though, and I say, Look, I uh, can't help but notice that I'm probably the reason you're not making the money you should this hour. I will pay you in kind, but has word... Uh, I'm, this is probably a very silly question, but I think you can tell me it would be very nice. I, I'm guessing word has reached you that we are guilty of killing Felicity. Is that correct? He nods slowly. How does this word reach you so fast? Was it Verasi soldiers? What? I don't understand. Some, some riders came through earlier. They said that a bunch of people matching your descriptions killed her and then stuck around into the inn for another day just hanging out hmm. where you killed her. Well, look, and I, I'm going to hand him 200 gold. <laughs> okay. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> That's more gold than my character has right now, by the way. Uh, it's Ryan, the gold in your heart listen, matters. money doesn't gold actually doesn't matter. Gold doesn't actually matter in this world. I just clicked on this and all... Jesus. So this is really funny. No, it's not that funny. Uh, I had 865... Oh, okay, so I, I literally I clicked on my PDF... And it erased my numbers and changed it to 45 gold and 20 silver, which... (laughs) So here's what I did. I I had 865 gold. I had 20 platinum. And then I had... I had something... uh, Oh, gems. What were the... I had what? How many gems I have? Like Like 12? No. (laughs) Where did you get... Is that the gems that Smee gave you? Yes. Forever ago. I don't spend money... Yeah, JP, no, no, no. I'm waiting. I, I was just making sure. I was just making sure, man. Wasn't it like four, right? If you can remember, uh, he had eight, and I think he gave you four. Yeah, yeah. We'll call you guys had them split even. And I don't know how much silver I had. I gave a whole bunch to that barkeep. I tried to give almost all of it. And then I also had gold things, but I think I sold those, right? I had, I had uh, that guy's golden trinkets, but I think I sold that for gold. You could try hitting Control Z. Control Z. Now or escape, it might. Uh, uh, I can go back. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Here we go. I'm hitting Control Z a whole bunch. Oh God, no! It's, I think it's this is. Okay. Anyways, I have 656 gold now because I gave him 200. I had 20 platinum, and then I had four a gems. Shit ton of silver as well. We'll call it 500 silver. That's my money now, I guess. Because we didn't we sell all that armor for like six hundred or something in that town. There's a yeah. lot. <sighs> We're gonna have to have Circuit uh, Smith start keeping track of gold. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> when I keep click, so my whole PDF is in blue. It's highlighted in blue. Weird. You could just close that and not save it and reopen it. Probably have all the original <clears> stuff. Uh, well, I after I put in these new numbers, I already saved it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just weird because everything everything I click on, it resets it to like week two, That's which is so, so random. That is kind of random. This document yeah. contains interactive fields, and it says highlight fields. And if I close that, and I click on something, yeah, this is so weird. Oh, oh. this is this is my hell to deal with. So I'll just silently suffer. Anyways, yeah, I give him the two hundred gold, and I'm uh, and I say uh, I appreciate the information, and I'd also like it if you probably. <sighs> Well, I don't know. I'm not going to get you involved, but if you could uh, tell the tale that basically we killed a tyrant and we mean the people no harm, 
veracity that stands in our way, of course, it's a very different story. But the you're, people are completely you're not. You're not Ferris's men? Ferris? Ferris? Oh, no, the other general? No, we are not. We are... We are people just like you who are tired of Verasi murdering and slaying our loved ones, and we will defend ourselves uh, truly, and, and that's what we did. Really? People like you exist? Yeah. Scratches his head in kind of like puzzlement and bewilderment. Okay. Thank, thank you for the gold. Of course. Um, a round of drinks for my friends and... Uh, we need Anything a room want, for the night. Uh, well, I think you got all the rooms in the inn to yourself. Yeah. And uh, he gives the, the servant girl a little pat on the small of her back to move her forward. And she's uh, gathering drinks for you guys and setting out plates and silverware and whatnot. And uh, makes you guys food and beverages. The innkeeper kind of chills by himself. And after 20 or 30 minutes people start poking their heads back in slowly filtering back into the inn <laughs> and as you guys enjoy your I buy each one around them. when they come in by the way and I tell okay. them the same kind of thing like to fear not and that we are good people and that kind of thing yeah. um, as they come in they kind of like go up to the bartender and he talks to them and then you talk to them and um, everyone in the party give me a charisma roll everybody in the party let's get a, a nice big average charisma roll here me too again Every, yeah everyone 32. 32. 19. Oh, Jesus. 3. <laughs> Leia? Getting there, getting there. Working on it. It's loading. Even the 19 doesn't fail by much at all. It fails by 1. Let's see my charisma roll. 13. Roll d20 plus 13. 27. Wee! That's so bad. I'm five spades back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Done with Barassi, motherfuckers. 33 to 27. Uh, within a couple of hours, the entire inn is kind of in an uproar. And the, the singer is singing loudly, and there's a bunch of other people singing with him. And generally, it's a fairly festive atmosphere. The people have... You, you've correct, successfully given them the impression that you're not here to murder them in their sleep and, you know, rape and pillage and kill everything that's going on. Uh, and Except they seem for mostly, Tariq. Well, <clears throat> right? They, they don't necessarily think he's going to do that. They just, Tariq's kind of the silent, quiet guy. And so they just kind of, you know. Okay. They, they give him some space. Gotcha. That's all. Great. I, I also want to ask a question before we get too far with this. Can you describe my hand and its functionalities? Your, which hand, was it the right hand? The wounded one, yes. The, yeah. yeah, the wounded hand. I just want to make sure I know which hand is the wounded one, right or left. It was right, right? Yeah. Yeah. Your right hand has a fairly nasty gash that goes across it from kind of where your wrist is out to your the base of your ring finger. Um and it's just kind of this weird oozing bloody slash across your hand and every time you you move your hand or do anything with it, you get this like sharp pain that runs through as if maybe some of your um tendons or something just are are being are are cut part way through but not all the way through. Um, it Can has I, like open doors, or, grab things, and that kind of stuff. Does it have? Yeah, I mean, just think about if you did just slammed your door, your hand in in the the car door, and you're like, oh Jesus! Like you can still do shit with it, but every action you take hurts. Okay. So it functions, but it's just in a lot of pain whenever you do stuff with it. Um, and it's kind of got this open, festering wound that you common sense tells you you should keep clean and bound. Um. If you, sure. you know, else it could get infected or whatnot. Are you like messing with it actively, Ryan? Is your character like looking at your hand constantly during or we're drinking? No, but stuff? what I was gonna say is, I was while everybody's doing this, I would probably leave and go. Um, I want to buy some some gauntlets or some, you know, so, it doesn't necessarily have to add armor, but you know, something that I can put over top of them. Yeah, um, you're. Well, it's full plate. Wouldn't that include yeah, your like plate mail has armor? Um, let's say your gauntlets were damaged in the blow, or your right gauntlet was cut through and pretty badly uh, fucked up. So it, it would need to be repaired. You can still put it on, but it's kind of it doesn't function. Your hands don't uh, open and close like some of the little um, what do you 
Uh, points on which things swivel. What do you call that point? Hinges? A pivot? A pivot. Yeah, some of the hinges are damaged, um, and so your fingers can't open and close all the way with your gauntlet on. Gotcha. Um, but it could be repaired. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, like, while everybody's doing this, I kind of want to go to a blacksmith or something. Okay. You, you come across the town, well, one of the town blacksmiths. He lives on Smith Street. Not that you that would know because you can't read. Um, no, you, you totally can. can read. Yeah, totally you can totally read, read that as Smith I, Street. I can read. But why would have street but, yeah. names if, like, 1% of the population can read, Neil? Um, for the guards, they all can read. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the educated <laughs> the salt is real. Yeah. Certain guards can read. Ones that, you know. And, and if you need a guard to read in a place, you'll teach someone to read and put them there. Um, so you. I'd like to go into the blacksmith Jeez, on Smith you have Street. Ticket. Okay. You do and, it. And um, just ask him how much to repair this gauntlet. He gives it a look over. He says he can get it fixed up for you in two days and for the uh, price of two gold. He can get it done. Um, okay. It's actually a little low, but he, you're kind of intimidating him. All right. I'll be back. I don't. I just say I'll be back and head back to the bar. Do you give him the gauntlet? Nope. Okay. Cool. Is there anything else you guys would like to do today? Uh, as we're partying and having this festive thing, too, I, I do uh, go to Zans and say, say, friend, by the way, you. You look like shit. You took some. You took some hits there. Uh, is it possible to rest and identify perhaps those remaining objects that we still need to figure out what they do? Uh, probably not. No. Can Leah help us out? Is she able to check these as well? Uh, yeah, she could probably yeah. uh, handle the spells, and I, I would. Uh, I Are you sleep. planning on moving tomorrow? Uh, maybe. We probably should continue on our journey, but we definitely could stay if the need arises, so... Yeah. If you don't I, mind, Leah, tonight, how about you identify a few of these objects? I can't do it tonight, but I can plan on it next time we get in town. I mean, you could do it tomorrow morning, and then we could leave midday. Yeah, sure. I could. Alright, so Zanzel, Leah, I'll leave it to you too, but we just need what we haven't identified identified before we can divvy it up, so please do that. Fantastic. Okay. Sounds good. And so I hand her the Necklace, ring, pouch, leather belt, or leather armor, and wand to identify. And and uh, as I hand her the wand, I'm like, that one's a tricky one. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. One of these days, man. One of these days. We've had that for so fucking long. Oh, she'll long. probably get it on the first try. Probably. All right. So otherwise, uh, Neil, I uh, make sure Helen's situated and the child seems okay and... I'm making sure that the, the like I, I'm taking upon myself the kind of campaign to these people that we are liberators as opposed to like random murderers type of thing, right? Uh, and then otherwise I go to sleep normally if if things proceed okay and stuff. Oh, yeah. Should okay. we keep sleeping it with someone awake now that we know the Voracia are probably on our trail? You know what? I'll I'll take first watch. I think Tariq's out shopping. Uh, you guys need your rest and you need to. Uh, Identify those objects, and yeah. I'll watch over Helen. So I'll I'll take half the night for for uh, and when I see Tariq come in, I'll have him take the other half. All right, sounds good. Okay. So, um, the night passes. Let's roll some dice, see how it passes. Uh, very uneventfully. Um, Next morning comes, and you guys continue as... Well, what do you do? I'm going to do identify in the morning. Okay. It will take you eight hours of preparation to clean and prepare the items in the area, and then a few hours of casting time, and then your constitution will drop by eight. Shit. Temporarily. Um, there's, you're still going to be conscious, and then over the next eight hours, it will regain one con per hour. So let's yeah. say Tariq came back that night to take the other half. He explained to me that he's doing this thing for the gauntlet that'll take two days. So I say, okay, we'll hang out in town, right? Sure. Well, I, actually, I would have come back, and if he said we'd hang out in town, then I would have actually given the gauntlet to the guy. Okay, you gave it to him that night. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. so I'm going to do it, yeah. Sweet. So, uh, 
you are level 6, it means you have a 60% chance of identifying any given function of any given item. Which items are you identifying, and how many functions would you like to... So you can check six functions. You can do five on one item, one uh, of another item. You can do two of one, three of another. Tell me which... Uh, there's what five you're, items. Uh, what you're identifying first. I'll do one of each. Okay. Well, there's, Necklace, there's ring, five. leg, their armor, bag, wand. Okay, well, let's start the first uh, way. Necklace is first. Yeah. And if you Didn't fail, we already you identify can't. that and say it's not magic? No. no. I fell uh, the necklace. Yeah. So I do D100? No, I, I roll it because if you roll yeah. certain things, um, you get uh, wrong false reads. False reads, yeah. Right, right. Uh, it is a cursed necklace, actually. Nice. Yes. Not uh, sure it's true. That's the but only sure. thing that you identify about it is that it is cursed. Okay, and I have actually an extra identify in this, right? Because I have six. Yeah, so you can tell me so which I'll one you want to do. I'll do it on the necklace again. On. I want to do necklace again. Okay, um, it is a, it is a blessed necklace. <laughs> necklace that will uh, provide protection for you. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Some, you don't so, tell somehow. Specifics, Neil? Uh, well, I, I'm giving her one function at a time as she goes through it. So one function is that it's cursed. A second function is that it will it's a amulet of protection, so that it will boost your AC in some regards. The exact boost is not clear, and there may be more functions that relate to these things, but for now you've got two functions. Okay. Hmm. Uh, next item. Yeah, hmm? ring. Cursed just means ring. you can't take it off, right? Nope. I have no uh, idea. can mean a lot of stuff. Generally, cursed means you can't take it off, but it usually accompanies something else. Like, a cursed sword is a sword you can never put down that's usually, like, minus two to hit or something. Right. Or a, a cursed ring, you might be able, not be able to take it off, but it might also randomly teleport you. <laughs> at, like, it teleport you at random every five minutes to a new spot 15 feet away from you. You know, it, there's usually multiple layers to the curse. Um, the What was the next one, Jen? I'm sorry. Uh, ring. The ring. Not the invisible one, the other one. It is a ring of teleportation. Cool. Uh, next item. Uh, leather armor. Uh, oh, and I remember the. My character would also remember the other word for, like, that she was using. Did you write it down? I wrote this. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Just look it up. Okay. The armor is leather armor of protection. Leather armor of protection. Mm -hmm. It's just magical, magically enchanted armor. Uh, increases your armor class. Uh, what's the next item? Mm -hmm. Bag. You do holding. not know. Oh, okay. But it's one. still a 15 pound bag. It's really fucking heavy. Uh, and a wand. Oh, the, what is the your chance? Wand. 60? Ah, uh, we rolled a 64. So I don't know either? Nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> that wand. I love this wand, because I know what it is, but it just keeps rolling. It's beautiful. <laughs> All right. I can't wait to go see Zenzel again. <laughs> um, so then you kind of just, you're exhausted at the end of that process, and you have to spend like the next eight hours resting and relaxing and phew, recomposing yourself. So basically, your, your entire day is spent in identification, preparation, and uh, rest afterwards. All right, I got the keyword for teleportation, motherfuckers, because I wrote it down. Whoop, whoop. All right. <laughs> I'm sure it's that. Okay, so at some point, if anyone comes to see me, feel free to tell me. I check on her, <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm going to tell you... I almost got them all, except the bag and the wand. Uh, the armor is leather armor of protection. It is blessed, so we should probably have someone wear it. Uh, the ring is a ring of teleportation, and I'm pretty sure the word to use it, uh, I heard it, I heard mm. her say it, was something like, I don't touch it as I say it, and I'm like, tarn ass. <laughs> okay. And then we have a cursed necklace. That will provide protection. So it's like good and bad at the same time, it seems. I'm not sure what the exact curse is. Maybe I should study it more. Or maybe... <clears throat> what's his face? Zenzel. So these, uh, this leather armor, could either of you wizards wear it? 
Would nope. it interfere with your? It would. Yeah, it would yeah. interfere. Can't wear it. Mm. Uh, Neil, would working in a magical shop, having knife intelligence, would I know how this ring of teleport works? You, yeah, told your best me. guess is you put it on, you concentrate on the magical effect, say the magic word, and you are teleported. To where I'm thinking? That's, or where a good, the w that's, a, that's a very good guess. Or where the ring wants me to go. Or where the ring's bound to. I'm well, pretty sure it's where it wants to go. If it's a normal magic ring, it would be wherever you want to go, like a, a normal ring of teleportation. However... You could have an ego item ring of teleportation that has a mind of its own and will teleport you where it wants you to go. Yeah, those are rare, very rare to have ego items, and they usually radiate a very strong aura of magic. And um, you've already seen the radiation on I this did. thing, so she it didn't. looks. He he cast a detect magic oh. on it. Yeah, the first day. Yeah, so you doubt it would function like that. You would be. They would have to have an ego item that has some sort of like magical suppressant cast on it to keep it from radiating how powerful it is. So hmm. let's say a one in a million chance that it will teleport you to where it wants you to go. Okay. Understood. But it's possible. So as we're kind of discussing this, then I say uh, none of us seem to have any purpose for the leather armor. Right? Yeah, but who's going to buy uh, it? Unless it's more powerful than what you're currently wearing. No, uh, I doubt that. Leia, could you comparably, which one of these would offer more protection? Would I know, Neil? Between the ring and the armor? No, no, no. no between the armor of Jeff and the uh, leather armor of protection. Well, Jeff, what, what's the armor class of your armor? It's three-quarter plate, man. It's, uh... I think that's seven, right? Or is that eight? Armor 7, yeah. Armor 7. Okay, so leather armor provides armor 2. For it to be better, it would have to have plus, plus, five five or six. plus 6 modifier, which is outside of the rules of the game. <laughs> yeah. the, things only go up to plus 5. So Jeff's armor is on par, <laughs> if not better, than the leather armor. Yeah. I think we should sell this, then. But nobody will buy a magical item. Nobody even oh, of course uses them. Only Varasi would buy it. No. No, not not at all. Someone very wealthy would buy it. Yeah, we can maybe find someone. We've it's already not... sold magic items. People fear them. Uh, yes. We live in this world too. I, you know that, right? <laughs> <coughs> um, which then brings us to the the satch or the the pouch rather that we still don't. Uh, we still what don't know. Want. Or the one. The one. You were right, Zenzel. That one is a tricky one. Yeah. Hey, can, can I see the ring? Sure. Uh, Neil, I put the ring on. and You think, don't know uh, the words. You just told us the words. Uh, do, you <laughs> do you remember it? Do you remember it? <laughs> You're not the DM. You can't ask that. <laughs> Zenzel has 19 intelligence. He would remember it. Uh, I put the ring on and think of Fix's caravan. And this say, is the van. And say the magical word. Give me an intelligence check to make sure you remember the magical word. All right. We can also take a break here, by the way, because it is time. Yeah, perfect, then. Uh, I'll make my roll first, though. 30. You remember the magic words, and with a puff of light, we go to break. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Going into hour two right after this. I think we're going four hours tonight, so Sick. a lot more role play coming up. See you guys soon. Thanks, everyone, for watching.